In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the acoustic guitar rig I use every Sunday to lead worship. First, we're gonna talk about my favorite choice of acoustic guitar to lead worship. Then we're gonna cover some of the gear that goes along with this acoustic guitar, such as my wireless system and my acoustic DI. I'm also gonna share some audio examples so you know exactly what all of this gear sounds like. So keep watching this video and you'll have clear direction on how to go about building a solid acoustic guitar rig for your worship ministry. My name is Jake Gosselin with churchfront.com, helping you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry. I've been leading worship now for over a decade, and my go-to instrument to accompany myself as I lead is an acoustic guitar. I have nothing against leading from piano or electric guitar or any other instrument. This is just my personal preference. I really feel so comfortable when I'm leading with an acoustic because not only can I just play the actual chords of the song, but it also has a good percussive feel. Since I use my acoustic guitar so much every single Sunday, I wanted to unpack my acoustic guitar rig for you, and hopefully you'll have much clearer direction on how to build a rig for yourself. I wanna be clear up front that this acoustic guitar rig is pretty pricey. I really wanted to invest a lot of money for some quality gear so that it would last me a long time and it would just sound great. So everything you're about to see in this video, including the guitar and the pedals, it could be between $3,000 to $4,000, depending on which acoustic guitar we're talking about. But keep watching this video, even if it's out of your price range, because hopefully you'll still have a clear idea of the type of tools you'll want to use to make sure you send the absolute best sound to your front of house mixing console. And then you can take that knowledge you learned from this video and find some more affordable options for your budget. Overall, my acoustic guitar rig is really simple. I have have the guitar itself. I have two guitars that we're going to talk about, these ones right behind me. Then we have my strap, my capo, uh, I have a wireless system to get the signal from my guitar to my pedals. Then on my pedal board, I just have that wireless system pedal, uh, and then we have the acoustic DI. So now let's dive into each one of these pieces of my guitar rig. First, let's talk about the most important piece of this rig, which is the guitar itself. I have two guitars. So my first guitar I ever had as a worship leader was an Ibanez acoustic guitar. I had a pickup built into it. I was about 15, 16 year old, years old, and it was a, like a $500 guitar. So it was a solid guitar. And you can get a lot of great solid acoustic guitars for less than $1,000 these days. Towards the end of high school, when I became a more competent musician, I was actually leading worship at my church as a volunteer, I became more serious about worship ministry. I felt like I was called to it and I knew that's what I wanted to pursue as a profession, as a career. So when I graduated high school, my grandmother, who's super generous, she actually bought for me this Taylor 614 that's sitting on the wall behind me. And this guitar has served me well for a very long time. It has a spruce top and it has a nice big leaf maple back. I just absolutely love this guitar. It has a really bright sound that cuts through the mix. It's great for leading worship. Then about four years ago, right when I landed my first full-time worship ministry job, I felt like I needed a change. I still really like my tailor and I use it once in a while, but I just wanted to have the, the flexibility to be able to switch things up once in a while. So I did some research and then I came across the Gibson J45 acoustic guitar. It's probably the most standard workhorse acoustic guitar that's been used for decades upon decades now. And I absolutely love this guitar. It's got the sunburst finish and it's a mahogany guitar. So it has a little bit more of a warmer, darker tone than my Taylor. The J45 I actually purchased used off of eBay. So I think it was a little under $2,000. Brand new, they go for like $2,500. So I was able to save some money and the guitar was only like a year old. It was in pristine condition. And the J45 comes with the LR Bags Element Pickup, which I think sounds really great. And now I want you to just hear the difference between these two guitars. I highly recommend these guitars for worship leaders if you have the budget for them. So I just wanna play them back for you in case if you're considering purchasing one of them yourself. So first, let's listen to the Taylor. And now, let's listen to the Gibson.
So those are my acoustic guitars. I love them both and I have the flexibility to just choose which one I want depending on the, the flavor of guitar and tone that I'm looking for on, on any given Sunday. Now let's talk about the accessories. When it comes to guitar straps, I have pretty standard straps. My Taylor has like a nylon strap. The Gibson has a leather strap. Really nothing special about the straps. For the capo, I like to use the G7th Performance 2, or I'll use Kaiser capos as well. And when it comes to guitar picks, I really prefer the Fender Celluloid Medium Thickness picks. They work great. It's a pick. What else can you ask for? Now let's move on to my pedal board. It is a very simple pedal board because I am a very simple guy. I just want to send the best sound possible to our mixing console. So I just need my pedal board to do a couple things. The first thing it needs to do is tune my guitar. As a worship leader, I need to be able to quietly and discreetly tune my guitar, maybe if that's gonna be halfway through a worship set. The second thing I need my pedal board to do is transform my guitar's unbalanced signal to a balanced signal to send to our PA system. And the final thing I need my pedal board to do is add some slight signal processing so I can adjust the EQ, I can put a notch in there, and I can even boost the signal. That's all I want my pedal board to do. I know it's common practice out there for a lot of worship leaders to apply maybe some delay or reverb to their acoustic guitar. I think that can really come in handy if you're doing a lot of solo worship leading where it's just you and an acoustic guitar and you want to be able to fill out the sound a little bit more with that instrument. But in my case, I'm usually always playing with a band, so I just want to get a clean, straight up acoustic guitar signal back to our sound console. Now let's look a little closer at the pedals on my board. The first pedal is the Shure GLX-D16 wireless guitar system. The pedal is the receiver of the wireless system. And then on my guitar strap, I clip the actual transmitter that sends the signal from my guitar's output to the pedal, which then goes into the acoustic DI. This is one of those pieces of gear that I had known about, I had thought about, I'd consider buying it. It's a pretty large purchase being $449. But now that I finally have it, I wish I would have got it a long, long time ago. They have come so far when it comes to wireless technology for guitars, and this system is awesome. It's super quick to set up. The battery life on the transmitter is awesome. You charge it with a little USB charger at home, and then it's gonna last you multiple Sundays before you have to recharge it again. This pedal also has a tuner built into it. So if you don't have a tuner yet, Getting this pedal will actually kill two birds with one stone. And most importantly, the audio quality of this wireless system is great. There is no lag at all, and the signal sounds awesome. The second pedal I have on my pedal board is the LR Bags Venue Acoustic DI. The first important task this pedal accomplishes is it converts the unbalanced signal from the guitar to a balanced signal for our PA system. So that's the first important thing it does. The next thing it does is it actually has a tuner in it. So that's great too. I have two tuners on my pedal. Most of the time, I'll probably end up using the LR Bags tuner. The next thing this pedal can do is it has a gain knob so I can control how much signal is coming into my acoustic DI, which then allows me to just have a really solid signal to process with the EQ and the notch and, and all the other parameters that you have on this pedal. And that brings me to the next feature is the notch feature. Sometimes you have frequencies that your acoustic guitar is playing that can easily feed back with your sound system. And with the notch, does is you can just adjust it and find that low frequency. Usually it's like a low to low mid frequency that causes a lot of feedback and it's going to pull down the gain of that frequency band. That's really going to clean up the sound of your acoustic guitar. You won't have feedback issues. Another thing you can do with this DI is set the EQ of your guitar. So you have control of the lows, the low mids, the high mids, and the highs. So you, you can really dial in the sound. And then another great feature about this pedal is the boost button. Maybe sometimes when you're just like finger picking and playing softly, you want to be able to send more signal to your sound console so your sound guy doesn't have to constantly ride the, the fader. So this allows you to hit that button. It's going to boost the signal for them. And then when you start strumming again, you can remove that boost. I also want to note that LR Bags makes a smaller version of this DI called the LR Bags Session Acoustic DI. That acoustic DI does sound great. I've listened to some demos about it. It has this cool little saturate knob and uh, compression knob and I may even try one of these out myself someday uh, but for the most part I found that the 
price increase to get the venue. Um, I feel like it was worth it uh, over the session with all the additional features that you get with the venue, like the boost button and the built-in tuner and just more extensive EQ. So that's why I went with the venue rather than the session. So the final step of the signal flow is to take the XLR output from that venue DI and send it to the stage box that we have that goes into our sound system. So now I just wanna play for you some footage and some audio so you can actually hear what this acoustic guitar sounds like uh, within the context of a worship band. Oh, God. That's my acoustic guitar rig that I use every single Sunday for leading worship. I hope you found this video informative as you go about building your own acoustic guitar rig for worship. I'm gonna link all of the gear that makes up this rig down below in the description of this video. So click those links to check out those products and purchase them for yourself. If you are a worship leader or an aspiring worship leader, I wanna invite you to check out worshipleaderschool.com. You're gonna find an extensive online course library of completely on-demand video courses that are gonna help equip you as a worship leader, whether it's pastorally, musically, or technically. And you're gonna find an online community. We have worship leaders from all around the globe who are part of Worship Leader School, and we're constantly bouncing ideas off of one another, asking questions, and receiving that support and feedback. And then finally, we actually host weekly group coaching calls, or we also call them office hours, where you can get Get real time help and support from myself or a member of the Worship Leader School team. So go to worshipleaderschool.com to apply now. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button and share it with your other friends in worship ministry. You could check out some related videos right over here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and to grow your church.